Hey everyone, it's Timmy in the Garage Tonight, and in this video I'm going to show you how to run a multi-GP global qualifier event using FPV Trackside. Yep, it's working now, and we're all very happy with it. So this video is aimed to show you step-by-step -step how to do the whole thing end-to-end. -end. Huge thank yous must be given to Dan Vogel of FPV Trackside for coding the obvious bits and pieces into it, as well as Roger Best from MultiGB helping us with the testing, the validation, and all the integrity bits and pieces that we needed to make sure it was doing. Uh, you're going to need two accounts for this, one for MultiGP as a chapter organizer, and a second account, which would be your FPV Trackside account, that is a Patreon as a, at a club level, in order to do the, the cloud data sync stuff there. So that's all you need. Make sure you have those two things, and I'll cover it all in the video end-to-end, -end, but we're going to go inside now, sit in front of the computer, and work through the whole thing. Let's go do it now. So the first thing to do to get started with this is to create your event on the MultiGP website. You log in as your chapter organizer account and you click add race. Um, I've already made one there, just to sort of skip ahead and it's telling me no more allowed. In this case, you shouldn't have that problem. So when you click into your event there, uh, you, I've got six pilots added and what we want to do is uh, just create the first round. Um, I'm, I think sometimes the generate schedule button does work for me but that seems to only work on normal events so that's not not a big deal here so we'll populate this with three pilots and we'll put three in um, the other heat on different channels let's mix it up great now with that all done we go back Make sure we have our race schedule there. Yep, round one. Excellent. Now let's jump to FPV trackside and just make sure we'll do this initial setup first. So when we, uh, when you need to log into the FPV trackside uh, website, it'll direct you to Patreon, and you need to make sure that your Patre your club your account with FPV trackside is a club level patrons, that way you can have this sort of club management menu. And what we need to do from here is to link an application. So this will be an auth code, and then in there we will paste that into FPV Trackside, and make sure that you've got the latest version, I believe it should be 2065.1 when it's all said and done. So I'll click the login button down here, and we'll log into FPV Trackside, and paste that key there. And I also need to get my multi GP key as well, just to make sure that you log into uh, both sources there. So uh, I might need to change this because you're probably all going to see it as a result of this video. And to do that, that is. Give me a sec while I remember where that is. It's up here timing system key at the manage menu at the top of your chapter one there. You can just copy that there. No one needs to see that. And then we do log into MultiGP and we paste that in there. If you don't have the Patreon account enabled correctly, you should get some warnings. It should tell you what you need to do. But if everything is checked out, then what you should see is when you log in, your GQ event will come down from MultiGP. It'll be synced with Trackside and visible everywhere. You'll see that these options um, You'll see, let's just even have a bit of a look. You'll see that uh, the key options here is that it is a multi-GP qualifier event. And you can't tick or interact with that. The rules are locked, so these settings here are fixed. And similarly, you have to sync with FPV trackside. The event will have to be visible on FPV trackside for any lap validations that might need to occur, as well as sync with multi-GP at the end. So, easy. So with the event synced down, we're ready to jump in and start running our qualifying rounds. Um, what you need to pay attention to is just make sure that your chat, your um, first round has been synced down and your parts are on the right channel slots that you expect there. Um, one thing to note is that you've got a multi-GP button down there and that's what you can do to sync down um, the next round from ZippyQ or any other rounds that you have signed up in there, um, as well as sync up race results, which should happen automatically at the end of each race, but also at the very end, when you're all done, you'll do this right at the end, but we'll go through that. So I've got a dummy timer added for this one just so for the simulation Next purposes. Next up, round one time trial so one. Don't worry, we'll clear these off. Um, the official. Arm your quads. Uh, 
Starting on the leaderboard less than five. Once the test is done, I might uh, zoom through this, and we'll skip ahead, and we'll come back to the end because there's no point in making this go for way too long. Ten All right, this first remaining. race is nearly over. A few seconds left on the clock. MRQ. Timmy Tron finished so when you're three done, laps in just over here, click the stop button, over. and watch these little sync things tick along. That's where the magic is. They're not immediate, and you don't need to worry. They do queue up and, and happen in the background. But what we want to see... is that on your race schedule, on multi-GP, the lap times are registered, and also on the FPV trackside events page, you can see the events there, and there's the lap times. We're off to a good start. I'm gonna jump ahead and run the rest of the 10 rounds and just finish it off. Um, but the, the idea that I'm expecting, or we're expecting, is that you can use ZippyQ uh, you can just keep cloning the rounds, but also you can uh, use this button here to sync down from Zippy Q if you want. Test it out, let us know if that works. But if not, um, not to worry, you can be a race director and you can run all these rounds. So I'll just go and run with 10 rounds all the way through and I'll, you know, I'll swap with Nacho in that one, just for fun. And run through all those and we'll come back at the end and we'll just show the final sync button all right see you in a few seconds but for me it's probably about 30 minutes all right i'm back we've run 10 rounds yep of two groups results all the way uh it's synced all the way this last one's syncing now it's just done so the thing to do when you're all finished over here. Hello. So, what we want to do to finish the final sync is click the multi GP button and sync final GQ results. And that's it. The way to make sure that it worked would be to pop on over back to the multi GP website, just refresh. Your race schedule, refresh the web page. Oh, no, sorry, it's here. When you know that it's all done, you will see all this data populated. This doesn't get done until the end, and that way you can see each of the pilots there, their best total time, and then it's highlighted where the round is. But also, if you want to see, um, you can click load the race schedule, and you can see all 10 rounds, every lap done. Yep, I ended that one early just to sort of end it. And as well as on the FPV trackside website, you'll see, uh, okay, it's got this, don't worry about that, that's me playing around earlier, but um, all these rounds will be populated here. It's all done. And the part to check is that, you know, when you go in, you can click on any given race and you can see each, uh, the whole shot and each of the lap times for each of the pilots. Cool, that's it. Um, any questions, feel free to hit this up, hit me up here in the YouTube comments or uh, potentially maybe the, the Trackside Discord would be the best part. Trackside Dis Discord would be the best part for any support you need initially. Otherwise, yeah, let us know in the comments how you feel about that. And if someone can test out the uh, Zippy Q parts, that'd be great, just to make sure that it does work. Um, that's all in this video. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.